Preparation for surgery begins with appropriate attire. A clean set of scrubs must be worn into the scrub room. Tuck your scrub top into your pants to avoid dangling clothing. Remove any jewelry from your hands, and your fingernails should be short. Set up a table near the sink with your supplies. Lay out a gown pack, sterile gloves, shoe covers, cap, mask, and a scrub brush. Slide a shoe cover over each of your shoes, placing the stitched side over the toe. Place a cap over your head, carefully tucking in all your hair and pulling the cap over your ears. Identify the metal band that runs along the top of the mask. This is the top of the mask. The white side of the mask will go toward your face. Place the mask over your nose and pinch the band snugly over your nose. Tie the upper strings on top of your head, pull the mask down under your chin, and tie the lower strings at the base of your head. Now you are ready to scrub. Open the scrub brush pack and place the opened pack over the sink within easy reach. Turn on the water and wet your hands. Use the nail file in the scrub brush pack to clean under each of your nails on both hands. Rinse your hands and wet your arms up to your elbows. Do an initial soap up of your arms and hands. Rinse. Then soap up your hands and arms again. The soap should remain in place the entire time while you are scrubbing to provide sufficient contact time for the antiseptic to disinfect your skin. Wet the scrub brush and load it with a generous amount of soap. Scrub across your fingertips using five to 10 strokes to clean the nails. Divide your fingers into four surfaces and brush each surface five to 10 times. Repeat the same procedure for each of your fingers. Brush the back of your hand and your palm in the same manner. Move down your wrist and your arm, working your way toward your elbow. When you are finished with your first arm, leave the soap in place and move to your opposite hand. Repeat the same procedure. In order to disinfect your hands and arms, the soap must remain in contact with your skin for a minimum of five minutes. Rinse your hands by placing your fingers under the running water and rinse from fingers to elbows. This entire procedure is repeated a second time. Scrub each surface of each finger. Brush the back of each hand, the palm, the wrist, and the arm up towards the elbow. Rinse. When you are finished rinsing, Keep your hands elevated and let the excess water drip down your arms and into the sink. Move to the table, being careful to keep your elbows above your waist at all times. To begin gowning, have your assistant remove the gown from its protective outer cover. Next, he or she will pull the tabs of the inner cover to expose the contents of the pack without touching anything inside the pack. The assistant will then place a sterile glove pack on top of the gown. You are now ready to gown. Pick up the towel, being careful not to touch anything else inside the pack. You will use half of the towel to dry each hand. Begin by drying your fingers, hand, and then arm on one half of the towel. Use the same procedure on your opposite hand, using the remaining dry half of the towel. Drop the used towel away from the sterile pack. Identify the neckline of the gown 
by the band that runs along the top. Pick up the gown with the fold facing your chest. Step back from the table, slip your hands into the sleeve pockets, and then shake out the gown to unfold it. Insert each of your arms into the gown, keeping your hands buried inside the sleeves. Have your assistant grasp the neckline from behind and pull the gown up and over your shoulders. The top and inside bottom ties will be secured by your assistant. Gloving will be done using the closed glove technique. With your hands in your sleeve cuffs, open the glove pack. Pick up the first glove with your opposite hand so that the right hand picks up the left glove. Turn the glove over and lay it on the sleeve of your gown. The glove's thumb should be oriented toward your own thumb. Grasp the open end of the glove and stretch the mouth of the glove over your cuffed hand. Take the beaded end of the glove and pull it over the end of your sleeve. Pull out the wrinkles of the glove and straighten your fingers inside the glove. Use the edge of the glove to pull the glove snugly over your hand and be certain that the glove is totally covering the cuff of your gown. Repeat the same procedure on your opposite hand. Unfasten the waist tie of your gown and hand the loose end to your assistant. Turn in place, re-grasp the end of the tie, and tie the gown at your waist. You are now ready for surgery.